The governor is already mapping a plan for the next phases of continued openings. Governor DeSantis says if the Sunshine State can maintain requirements like health benchmarks and the number of hospital beds, then the state can move forward. As Mike Vasilinda tells us, so many small businesses are chomping at the bit. Nail salons, barbershops, movie theaters, and gyms will remain closed. What they all have in common is they require close contact. I haven't had a haircut since February. But as the governor announced the state's gradual reopening at 12.01 a.m. Monday morning, he was optimistic more businesses could be open soon. There's not going to be a firm time. I thought about doing it that way, but we look at the data on an hourly basis, on a daily basis. My hope would be each phase we're thinking about weeks. We're not thinking about months. One of the most important pieces of information in reopening will be the percentage of new positive cases to the number of tests remaining steady or falling could speed up his decision. Will the customers return? Bill Hurley represents Florida's small businesses in the state capitol. But we like to say it's not what you sell, but how you sell it. And we believe that there are many more businesses that can practice their commerce safely. But for unemployed IT worker Scott Reed, the governor's actions so far are going to mean little. I don't think, you know, I'll get my job back just because uh, my industry was heavily related to travel and tourism. And we're asking when state parks might reopen. We're told it won't be all, but it could be some soon. And the Department of Health tells us that following basic guidelines... So making sure you're staying six feet apart, washing your hands often... ...can hasten reopening. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station. Other key data being monitored are the daily fatality rate and the number of available hospital beds, both of which can be key indicators of just how bad the disease is.